Hi, I'm Marius from Inwest Photography, and welcome back to another episode of Digital Photography Today, the show where you will learn how to become the master of your camera. Now, in today's episode, we are going to take a picture of a flower, but we are going to put a black background behind it. And you'll notice the moment you bring in that black, black background, you, you also get some problems. We're going to show you how to fix that. But just the simplicity of adding in that black background really makes a huge difference. Okay, now currently we've got a little bit of a summer rain. So I was going to shoot it from that side as a much better looking flower there, but then this gets wet. So I'm under the carport, so we'll make it work. Okay, we're going to focus on this flower right here. And the camera we're going to use will be the Canon PowerShot SX60HS. You can use any camera for this. And I'm just going to turn the camera on here. There you'll be able to see the flower now. Now it's in the middle of the picture. It's perfectly fine because we are going to crop it in a square anyway. Again, to make it more simplistic, you don't need all this clutter right here. Now currently I'm on aperture priority. You can see there with the AV for aperture value. And I've chosen F6.3, it really doesn't matter. Um, I just want to get the shot of this flower. You'll notice the camera is choosing 250th of a second and we're using ISO 400. And if you're looking at line in the middle there, we're also on what the camera sees as the correct exposure. Okay, so I'm gonna focus. I'm going to take the shot and there you go. So that's just a, okay, it's a pretty flower. It's a little bit wet from the rain. That's it. Now let's see how we can change this. Okay, I'm going to get the black background. And this is just a piece of black cardboard. Now I didn't want it to get this wet. So let's see what this looks like. I'm just going to bring it in here like that. And then we take the exact same shot and we focus halfway and we shoot. Now, before I do that, you'll notice the shutter speed is now a lot slower. And I'm going to explain why that's going to happen because you'll notice the fly is completely blown out. So if I take the shot, you'll see when we zoom in, the flower looks terrible. It's blown out. So if you've ever tried to do this before, you're going to get something like that. Now to explain why that's happening, if you ever try to take pictures of snow, where it's very white or a picture like this where there's a lot of black you're going to run into a problem and the reason for that is when your camera is metering when it's reading light it tries to meter for middle gray or 18 percent gray so the problem is if you're taking a picture of snow you've got a ton of white when the camera is trying to meter for middle gray it needs to underexpose the shot basically to get to that middle gray that's why when you're taking a picture of snow the pictures are usually way too dark and then usually you think to yourself, okay, my mind's telling me there's a ton of white snow here, so I must actually underexpose. I'm going to blow all this highlights on, on the snow. And then your picture's even darker. So now you need to think in reverse. So you need to, or in the opposite, you need to overexpose when you take a picture of snow. So you'll notice your snow then looks not overexposed, but it looks right. It, it's white, it's detail, everything in there. It's not underexposed. So it might be a stop over or two stops over. I've actually never taken a picture of snow. I would really like to do that <laughs> sometime. Um, but here in South Africa with our hot weather, I've tried to go to places where there are snow. I'm usually missing it or I don't have a 4x4 to get there. Okay, so with snow, you overexpose to get the shot. Now, when you look at black, just the reverse of that happens now. So with black, you're thinking, okay, it's black. So I should actually overexposed because the camera's going to make it darker, won't it? Because it's so black. It's exactly the opposite. So when you think of middle gray, remember when we had white and it had to go to, to middle gray, it took the white and made it darker. It underexposed the shot. So if you've got black and trying to get to middle gray, which means the image will have to become lighter because from black to middle gray, it's going to go lighter. Your picture's going to overexpose. And that's exactly what happened here. So if you look at that shot, Okay, the camera window standby. Yeah? So if you look at that shot, you'll see that the flower is overexposed and the shutter speed has dropped. I think it was 250th of a second. It now went to 80th of a second. So it, it allowed more light in there. And that's what is overexposing the shot. So the camera is just doing what it think it should do. So when you are shooting in program, aperture priority or shutter priority. Remember your camera is still doing the other part of the equation for you. In program, it's doing everything. It's choosing the shutter and aperture. And in shutter priority, it's still deciding what the aperture is going to be. In aperture priority, it's still deciding what the shutter is going to be. So you can fix this. It's very easy. If you're, if you're working in manual, it's even easier. 
Now, on this camera or different cameras, it might obviously now change on the way of that your screen looks. So for, let's, for instance, we'll take an SLR camera. You'll usually see your shutter and your aperture on the screen, and below that, you'll, you'll get, get a line that goes to minus and to plus. Now, when you're shooting this, just go to the minus side, just underexpose. If you're shooting snow, just go to the plus side, just overexpose, and you'll be sorted. So let's fix this shot. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to zoom back into where we were. And you'll notice, like previously, now it's even went to 60. It's even allowing even more light to get in there. Very easy. You'll see this plus minus button here. This is called exposure compensation. Now, we've already done an episode on exposure compensation. You can click this link to watch it if you haven't seen it yet. And it will explain what we're going to do right here now. So when I press this exposure compensation button, you'll see it opens up that line I just told you about the plus minus. So if I go to the plus side, you will see it, we will overexpose it even further. But if I go to the minus side, I'm going to underexpose it. You'll notice there the flower really looks better as well. Now it's pretty hazy, I can't see on the screen properly, so I'll see myself when we go to the computer. Or when I show you the pictures now, as I take them, I'll show you the processed one as well. There we've got minus one. Now the black in the background should already be a lot darker and the flower shouldn't be as blown out. And let's go to minus two. Take the shot again. And that's for me on the screen as I see it, it's a little bit too dark, um, but we'll see now when I show it to you. So there I fixed the problem by just underexposing the shot. So when you've got a lot of black in your image or a lot of white in your image, just remember it will affect your camera's metering. It will affect how your camera is metering the light to get the correct exposure for you. So just use the exposure and compensation button and just go to minus or to plus. So when the camera is working out exposure for you, you tell the camera, okay, Mr. Camera, I know you're smart. I know you've got the, the, the exposure sorted, but believe me, go a little bit darker or go a little bit lighter. That's what you're telling the camera when using exposure compensation. Okay, so that's all there is to this. Another thing, if like I'm using the rain that fell on the, on the flower now, so I'm sorted. If you don't have rain and you want to make the flower just look a lot better, then just use a little squirt bottle like this. And then just obviously squirt it on the flower. Um, I'm obviously making that cardboard a lot wetter now, but let's have a look at what that looks like. Um, We've added some extra water droplets in there. Let's take this picture as well. I'm just going to go to the exposure compensation and make it rather minus one. I'm just afraid it might be too too much. But if I look at the screen, okay, Mr. Wind must now just stop blowing that cardboard. <laughs> um, okay, there we go. So when you need some extra water droplets on it, just use a little squirt bottle. Okay, now that's all for this week's episode. And if you've enjoyed this, then you know what to do. Click that subscribe button and get all these awesome episodes as they come out. And that's all for this week. And I'll see you again next week for another episode of Digital Photography Today, the show where you will learn how to become the master of your camera. Bye.